SARS see crops differently when compared to optical sensors. This is because of the scale of microwave energy. These centimeter long waves are sensitive to large structures in the crop canopy, leaves, stalks, fruit, that are on the same order of magnitude or larger in size relative to the incident microwave. But microwaves are very specific. The way these waves scatter depends not only on the size of the parts of the canopy, but also the shape of the leaves, the angle at which these leaves attach to the stalk, the size and orientation of fruit and seeds in the canopy, and even the width and direction of the rows. All of these characteristics change from one crop type to another, and they also change as crops grow and mature. This is why SARS sensors are very helpful in identifying crop types and growth stages. Different crop structures create different types and amounts of scattering. Microwaves also react to the amount of water in a crop canopy. If we consider the total above ground crop canopy, the amount of water per square meter will vary from one crop to another and will also change as crops grow. We need to remember that SAR interactions are very scale specific. Interactions within the canopy will be frequency, incidence angle, and polarization dependent. In particular, we have to think carefully about how far we want our microwave energy to penetrate the canopy. Choose longer wavelengths and steeper angles to penetrate further into the canopy. We want enough penetration so that microwaves can interact within the crop canopy and scatter amongst the leaves and stalks. However, if we have too much penetration, part of the microwave signal will scatter from the soil, making it more difficult to model the signal coming only from the crop. Longer wavelengths are well matched to big canopies and shorter wavelengths to shorter canopies. Consider these two canopies. Both are very different in terms of their total above ground biomass. Thus, I might consider different frequencies for each of these if I want my incident waves to penetrate into these canopies. As well, take a look at their structure. The size of the leaves is different. The angle that the leaves connect with the stalk is different and the size and orientation of the stems and stalks is different. Microwave scattering will be very different from these two canopies.